point, the floor is open. We are we do take questions in an orderly fashion. So that means, just like in school, raise your hand, and we will do our best to answer it. If for some reason we do not have an answer for you tonight, I will do everything in my power to find an answer for you. Would God approve of me listening to a lot of bad music that had the F word and talk about sex a lot? <laughs> That's God. Kind of um, well, actually, for this one, I'm going to put it to the group first. Well, I've been listening to that kind of music since I was practically born. Literally. Yeah, practically and, uh, born. Yeah, practically seriously, so. I have a videotape of me dancing to that kind of music. And, well, it doesn't swear in it, but it's like rap. <laughs> and, like, Jeez. it's kind of hard to get out of that habit, because I listen to that music all the time. <laughs> I say, if you really need to ask that question, just think about it. Because if you need, if you need to ask, then it's probably like you know, you probably wouldn't. Okay. The only type of bad music is country. Oh. <laughs> oh. I want to know what the last time was Tyler listened to music that had F word, F word, F word, and sex. Oh, Tyler. Oh. The, the very easy answer is no, God would not approve of music that glorifies sex outside of marriage, murder, drugs, um, that only within marriage there are things that should not be said about the sex life. Okay. There is such thing as TMI. Um, but glorifying, glorifying anything that would be sinful, um, even to the point of... Uh, a lot of a lot of the influence from a lot of rappers is making money and getting power. Um, that would be sinful because you're putting yourself in a position where you're becoming God. You're gaining power. You're pursuing wealth. You're pursuing all your bling. I would say yes. God would look down upon that. How does that differ from rated mature video games and? Watching Family Guy. <laughs> oh, come on. Why does that different? Guy out of you it. are against the music that has swear words in it, but you're okay with Family Guy and Rita Machado. Well, you have to remember a couple things. Games. One, I didn't say I was against. I said God would look down on the music that glorifies the sinful behavior, okay. sinful thoughts. But that is that is something that does it should extend to your entire uh, I'm sorry. I think I'm so bad your entire media God. consumption. Family um, is funny. For instance, you bring up Family Guy. Within a given season, you will find two or three episodes that have a more honest critique of American Christianity than anyone is willing to give elsewhere. Um, yeah, that one. The Simpsons, the Simpsons used to be looked at the same way Family Guy is now. And yet, within ten years of them being around, you were having books published such as The Gospel According to the Simpsons, which showed... In most Simpsons episodes, you can see the gospel at work. You can see forgiveness. You can see redemption. You can see real faith at play. Um, but it should extend to all, all all forms of media. Now there there is there is a limit to that. There are times and there are media choices that we should not engage in. We should not use. Like pornography or anything like that. Like pornography. Pornography is a very clear example. Um, there are certain movies that should not be watched because there is not enough good in them to be uh, to be worthwhile. There's not enough good to outweigh the negative in our minds and our hearts. For example, the American Pie trilogy, uh, super bad. Um, epic movie. Uh, yeah, the the entire epic movie, scary movie. Basically, the horror movies. You're like, there's people out there who are gonna be like. Rapist serial killers because of the movies. Like, oh yeah. Well, there's the thing. Um, I would never go so far as to say media made me do something wrong. I would never go so far as to say video game made me take a gun into Columbine High School. A rap song made me go out and have sex with my girlfriend. I would never say that anyone can use those defenses because you make the choice yourself. What they do is media. See, media is something you're surrounded with. Media works on you in very subtle ways. Um, Deanna, using you for example, not for anything negative. But, um, you know, you've been listening, you say you've been listening to that kind of music for a while, and it's hard to break the habit. Um, over time, as you listen to songs that glorify sex outside of marriage, making money, and making money be the only point of stuff, um, drug usage, you, you become what's known as desensitized to it. It's not as 
big to you anymore to hear that stuff. And the more desensitized you are, the easier it is to get you to do some of that stuff. But the, 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 more you get, you, the more you hear it, the more you get used to it. The more you get used to it, the more likely you are to do it yourself. So I'd never go so far as to say that media can make you do anything, but it certainly makes it easier for you to make those choices. Since God doesn't approve of it, then why should we approve, like, watch, like, listening to that kind of music? Because if you're used to oh. <laughs> well, go ahead. If you're used to it, if you're used to it, it's kind of hard to change your habits. So sin. Um, if I had chocolate in front of me and like everybody eats chocolate and everything, I know. Many people eat chocolate and it's right in front of you and you're so used to eating it and everything. Wouldn't you want to eat it? Yes. But does that eating make it something we're supposed to right? do? Um. So Just if you're that. used to it. <laughs> God didn't say that getting to heaven was going to be easy, and some things that you may like, you may have to give up, and it's going to be a challenge to give up something that you're used to and that you like, but if it's something that isn't holy, then in the end it's worth giving up. Amen. That was a sermon right there. Yeah. Preach it, boy. All right. What it boils down to. Paul says, I can, or everything is, is permissible, but not everything is beneficial. So you have to make two decisions when it comes to your own personal media consumption. One, is it really beneficial to you to hear this, watch this, play this, take part in this? Is it really going to help you grow? Or is it actually going to take you backwards? Mm -hmm. And two, is it worth it to take that step back? when you realize that step back is actually taking you further away from God.